Remember being high school or middle school and you just couldn't get yourself out of bed in the mornings, or perhaps you're a parent and you have trouble waking your teens up. Believe it or not, sleeping in past noon and going to bed late at night is a common phenomenon amongst adolescents around the world, and it's not because they're lazy. Intelligence for your life that you can share with your friends, it's stick the tar. Our bodies have a natural sleep cycle that's adapted to the 24 hour period and to help us maintain enough sleep throughout the night, our biological clock tells us to go to sleep when it's dark and to wake up when it's light. Our biological clocks, also known as the circadian rhythm, dips and rises throughout the day, meaning for adults usually around 2 to 4 in the morning and 1 to 3 in the afternoon, they get really tired. Of course, the intensity depends on how much sleep deprivation you have. This circadian rhythm also causes us to feel more alert at certain points of the day, even if you have been awake for hours, and in theory, you should be tired. In other words, it's this biological rhythm that explains why you may work best late at night or in the early mornings. When it comes to teenagers though, their sleep phase is naturally delayed, meaning their circadian rhythm causes them to feel alert later at night, making it harder to fall asleep, resulting in them waking up later on in the day in order to fully recover their energy. So for teens, their circadian dips tend to occur between 3 to 10 a.m. and 2 to 5 p.m. This circadian biological clock is controlled by a part of the brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SEN for short, which is a group of cells in the hypothalamus that responds to light and dark signals. So, from your optic nerves in the eye, light travels to your SCN, signaling the internal clock that it's time to wake up. At this point, your blood pressure and body temperature rises and you begin to produce a cocktail of hormones, such as cortisol, to help prepare for the stress of waking up. When your eyes signal to the SCN that it's dark, melatonin is released in the body, promoting sleep. In teenagers, melatonin levels naturally rise later at night than in most children and adults. So when you have school and you go to bed later at night, and then you try and wake up during your circadian rhythm dip between 3 and 10 a.m., it becomes extremely difficult. Sometimes even if you go to bed early, waking up in the circadian dip still makes you feel tired, although you may have gotten your recommended hours of sleep, versus in adults by... After 4 a.m., their dip has finished and they're usually perfectly fine waking up early in the mornings. And until your SCN processes the light to wake you up, when you go to school and you're still tired, then it may affect your performance, how quickly you process information, and how well you absorb what's being taught. This is because your melatonin levels are still relatively higher and your body and brain are focused on sleeping. And in school, although you may be tired in the morning and you may have trouble processing things in the morning, the grade you get on your test still depends on how well you know the information and whether you can communicate the answer properly during times of fatigue and wakefulness. So if you went to class too tired to pay attention, then perhaps studying during a circadian rise would better prepare you for your test. So there you have it. Care to share this video with someone you know? They may also have the same curiosity. And want to learn more? Then subscribe to Stick to Tar for your answers to everyday questions.